What's up you guys, we're back and we're kicking it off again with Anko323. Now it must have been a coincidence, but I remember he started it off last time. Uh, but this is the foreign clan that King's Rock is fighting right now and he's starting it off for us again and he's using the uh, Go Wee Wee it looks like. And so, he's gonna attack from this top corner up here. Now, I remember last time this episode ended, we were at tie game, it was 74-74. And I believe it's still the same school right now. So we're going to have to see what happens after this attack. If he can get the two star or not. Okay, so he has the jump spell deployed. And now he's going to try and get down there. The queen is in the way a little bit. She goes down. And now it's just a mad dash to get to the town hall. So with all these uh, weapons and stuff. As soon as he gets to the middle, this is where it's really hard. Because you have everything shooting at you. And you got to use your free spells. That's why I like bringing uh, the extra free spell instead of the lightning. Just because it gets really difficult around that area. But he manages to clutch it out. He gets that town hall. And now the Infernal Tower locked on to him, taking him out. He has a queen left over. This is going to decide if he can get this or not. He's got 10% left. And a minute left. Okay. The queen is actually locked on. She uses her ability. And now she's just going to try and clean up these... Tesla's and Expo's. The Expo has so much hit points on it though, making it harder for her to take out. So she's gonna go down with this. And with 5% left, he does have 6 wizards though, so this might be easy for him to get this. Okay. Yeah, pretty easy. 1% left, so he's gonna clutch this out. And that gives him an extra star for his plan. So you guys, now it is tie game. Uh, so we're gonna have to go and see what the next one is. Okay, so we got New How. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm just so bad right now at these names. But his he's got his uh his attack going. He is using a oh my gosh, that's a it looks like a go wee wee. I don't see any peckers. That's my my issue with uh, attacking up this high. I just love using peckers now because they just balance out the attack for you if you're struggling with um you know your heroes aren't doing the job right or they're off doing their own things Pekka's can sometimes get in there and, and do the damage for you so um, but he's sticking with the go wee wee and he's got pretty he's pretty close to the town hall the queen however is not going for the town hall though so it doesn't look like he's gonna take out the town hall I'm not sure no okay his wizards cannot get to the town hall with that so I believe it might have been a of uh, just a matter of his heroes not being strong enough to get there or the attack wasn't good enough to get inside. And I mean, even if you do get the town hall, it's a matter of getting that 50%. So I believe that's why he went that far over, but it uh, didn't pay off for him and he only gets one star with that, but a good effort. Okay, it's still tie game and we only have nine minutes left. Okay, but it looks like somebody's gonna go in and they want to get their attack in before the timer's up. So it's Aladdin and he's using the Go Wipe. Now this is actually, in my opinion, this is a, a little bit of a stronger attack than the Go Wee Wee. Some people can use Go Wee Wee good enough so that they don't eat peckers, but Aladdin's using them and he's gonna try and force his way in to get to that town hall. It looks like the wall breakers are opening up everything that they need to so he doesn't need a jump spell. He was pretty efficient with the wall breakers. But he has to be careful though because there's a queen in the back over there and she might pull him away from the target that they're trying to go to. He, he deploys the free spell stopping all the weapons from uh, taking him down. The golems are trying to take the blunt of all of the hits and the queen is pretty much taking everything out. <laughs> She's staying in the background doing all the dirty work. Making sure she gets that 50%. He used the ability. And now it's just a matter of getting four more percent. He does have some troops left over. But he doesn't need them because he's already got the 50%. Now he actually could have. He might be able to get the three star. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it though. But he's going to probably try. And the queen goes down. So I'm sure the leftover troops probably can't get it. So... A good effort and that gives us another star just barely making it to 
the lead with only three minutes left and we have another person going in it's uh ku funky and he's got a funky looking composition with him it looks like the go we wipe which is and pickers so that's actually a pretty strong attack also he's using a golem to lure out the clan castle and a lightning spell to take care of him so he's got two more golems left over the wizards are going to do their job taking out all of the surrounding buildings so that the heroes and the pekkas have a more narrow approach to the town hall so he does have a jump spell just in case though i know he used all of his wall breakers for that first wall but the jump spell is deployed perfectly and they're gonna push in towards the queen she's gonna go down because the king's right there with the pekka from behind that's a good thing he doesn't have too many of the witches over there with him they're staying back and offering support with their minions he's using the second freeze spell to take out that infernal tower but his king is going to go down before he can get to the town hall however the pekka is going to clean it up nope never mind she goes down as well but they get the town hall just in the nick of time okay so now they only need uh there's only four percent left which I'm sure she's gonna get it. Yes, she does. And that is seals the deal right there. He's just gonna try and clean up. Wow, he even had an extra peck left over, man. That's pretty that's sealing it. That's sealing the deal right there. Okay you guys, so King's Rock is now up with two points. Um, making this the second one. Finishing it off right there, we're gonna go back to the map and check it out, see what we have. Now we're only a few seconds left into the war, and I usually don't see people getting in their last attacks. That means that uh, with 77-75, that's gonna close the war, seal the deal, and that makes Kings Rock the winners, barely clutching out that victory with two stars left over, you guys. So that was awesome. Tell me what you guys think in the comment box down there. I was pretty nerve-wracking. But I had a fun time with this war. Thank you again. Make sure you thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.